Hey, buddy. All right. First of all, uh, congratulations on My Brother the Devil on your performance. Have you seen it? I have seen it. Oh, wow. I saw it at the London Film Festival. I thought it was oh, okay. incredible. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. And um, what's, what's it like, the reception that you've had? I mean, it seems to be overwhelming. It's, it's so overwhelming. You know, I would never dreamt to be in this position, you know, uh, you know, two years ago. Any, any time, you know, just, and, uh, you know, from just one film, and it's just brought so much to me. I've been nominated for Best British Newcomer, and now Young British Performer of the Year. And I've been to Sundance, and I've been to London Film Festival, and I've been to all these big places just from one film. It's just so overwhelming, but it's like, you know, I remember doing the film, and my brother in the film, James Floyd, he he was in the industry for seven years. I'm so new to it. This is why everything's just so crazy to me. But I was, I remember asking him, like, is this film gonna make it to cinema? Well, like halfway through the set, and he was like to me, you know, Fatty, to be honest, some films don't make it to cinema. And I was like. <laughs> I've worked so hard, like, I've been here for like, I can't remember, maybe like just say two weeks and I've been working so hard and everyone's been working so hard and like, this guy just said to me, some films might not make it cinema and I was just like, cool, but in the back of me I always had faith that this film would do so much and just something crazy, I had a feeling this film would do so much crazy because I appreciate the script and the script was so amazing and just everything about the film was so great and I just had a feeling it would do something crazy so, you know, all of this is a bit like, overwhelming but it was, I had a feeling, you know. Yeah, and you talk about working with James, I mean, it, so, I mean, so much of the film hangs on your relationship and, yeah. I mean, the performances that you kind of almost draw out of each other. I mean, how, how important was that on the film? That would, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the chemistry you see on screen was simply because of the time me and James spent offset. You know, so many times, like, it was all him because, you know, I met James as Rash. I didn't even know his name was James until, like, a week into his filming. And, you know, like, he... He, he was so method, he was so method all the time and sometimes he'd just walk up to me and slap me. And this is like three days into it and I'm like, James, I don't really know you that well, but you'd be slapping me. And it was just like stuff like that that really built the chemistry and you know, like when I'd walk into the room, when I'd first arrive on set nine o'clock in the morning, you know, everyone says cool to each other. He's just like, like, you know, you know when your brother walks into a room, you don't really anticipate him, you know, he's always there. So it was just like stuff like that offset that really built a chemistry and we'd always stay together. Sometimes we wouldn't. He was just really smart. To be honest, it was mainly him and his techniques that really helped me and I, I absorbed so much of him like he was so brilliant so it was kind of like a big brother little brother it, it was thing. exactly like that to be honest I learned so much of him and learned some of everyone you know the directors they just everyone was so there was such a positive energy on set I think everyone just wanted a great you know it was such a team effort that's what I think it was yeah and, and, and you talk about you know not knowing whether it makes make the cinema or not it's, it seems like it's it's that kind of film that kind of genre and I think maybe it benefited a lot of people yeah. didn't expect just how great it was going to be yeah. when you yeah, get to exactly because not a lot no, not a lot of urban films you know I've seen a lot of urban films and they don't really get to Sundance or they don't really get to Berlin and all these film festivals and it's like they only get UK and they're so with urban films these days I don't know if you'd agree but they're so glamorized and there isn't that sensitivity and vulnerability for these characters where you get to follow their lives at home or see what they're actually like as human beings you know and it's just all gangsters and guns and you know and I think you know finally we've got an urban film that actually that's, that's, that's been created and produced in the right way and I think that's a great great start you know for urban films and then so what's next for you um well god knows you know i've just recently signed with my new agent gary from troika and he's he's doing great for me right now so you know i've managed to get a role in doctor who it comes out in april and uh yeah i'm really looking keen in that and um i've got a role in casualty as well and uh world war z which comes out this year starring brad pitt <laughs> right well uh good luck with any, everything thanks for speaking Thank to us so and much. good luck tonight thank you thank you <laughs>